Midterm Review. I'm Grace Hazelhorse. And I'm Olivia Pernie Herman. And here are this semester's top stories. SPB set Green Cup records this year, successfully recycling 100% of the artists on its wild survey. <laughs> <laughs> Just this week, Liv brought actor Justin Baldoni to campus to talk about hypermasculinity. Good thing the audience was just a bunch of women who watched Jane the Virgin. <laughs> Lee and Bo will be renovated after this year. According to sources, the cockroaches and millipedes will be reassigned to Rutledge. <laughs> Speaking of insects, a doctor in China recently plucked 11 live worms from a man's eye. Bet he didn't see that one coming. <laughs> After Anthony Porowski from Queer Eye visited campus, Chancellor Wrighton was given a makeover and emerged a few inches taller and a few pounds heavier, wearing tiny glasses and insisting on being referred to as Andrew Mark. <laughs> <laughs> After this semester, I'm able to say something I never thought was possible. Scooters are cool, but only if you don't own one. <laughs> Here to comment on the rise of the bird scooter is local eagle Larry Bird. <laughs> yeah, hi, how are you? Thank you for coming, Larry. How are you doing? Not too good. Not too good, let me ask with you. You see, see this bird business? You mean bird scooters? <laughs> they stole my thing. It's being a bird? No, I had a transportation business. I gave people rides. Oh, really? <laughs> what happened to your business? Uh, I slipped the disc, warped spine, people falling off, it was a whole mess. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, Uber too. Uber stealing my thing, you know, the, the, the water, the water in the back seat. Yeah. Me first, we heard it here first, that was my thing. <laughs> How'd you fit water bottles back there? Oh, it wasn't like a prepackaged bottle. I would sort of open my mouth when it rained and the baby bird into the back seat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you know, I feel like I can't provide a conversation, a uh, rapport, I, I let them pick the music. Oh, do you have a radio? <laughs> no, I don't mean to brag. I've been a musician myself. We birds kind of invented the whole music thing. Uh, you know, you're staying alive by the Bee Gees? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, try this one. Squawk! <laughs> yeah, work. Larry Bird, everyone! <laughs> with over 20 ghosts recently got engaged to a spirit. It turned out that the spirit was hiding an affair from her for weeks, but eventually she saw right through him. <laughs> <laughs> the author of the book How to Murder Your Husband was recently charged with murdering her husband. That's odd, says author of the book How to Frame Someone for Murdering Your Husband. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier this year, Andrew Martin was named WashU's next chancellor. His qualifications include being straight, being white, being a man, and not being Holden Thorpe. <laughs> <laughs> a Bitcoin miner has been sent to prison for stealing electricity from trains. You don't have to laugh. We don't know what Bitcoin is either. <laughs> on Monday, NASA InSight lander touched down on Mars. Great, what's next, my anus? <laughs> <laughs> a woman was jailed for three months for possessing crystal meth, but it turns out it was actually just cotton candy which means there's a little girl at a carnival high out of her mind. <laughs> Pete Davidson was big in the news the past few months due to his engagement to Ariana Grande and his appearance as SPB fall comedian. We are pleased to announce he is no longer relevant. <laughs> Kim Kardashian recently admitted she was high on ecstasy during both her wedding and the filming of her sex tape. Says everyone else? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Spanish police found 8,000 pounds of oranges stuffed in an abandoned car. Said the thief, orange and glad it isn't drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the Center for Disease Control and Prevention stated that it's okay to dress up your chickens for Halloween. Couples costumes, on the other hand, are sickening and appalling. <laughs> A woman posted pictures of herself covered in her own menstrual blood and rolling around in the grass to promote acceptance and love. So when she does it, it's inspiring. And when I do it, I'm told that I'm in the middle of a lecture and should put my clothes back. <laughs> Cops recently secured a large runaway pig by luring it home with Doritos. His brothers on frat row were very grateful. <laughs> opened on the Del Mar Loop, Ooh. treating St. Louisans to artisan beers and another cool place to lose your fake. <laughs> <laughs>
Elon Musk recently announced he's 70% sure he will be moving to Mars, despite, quote, good chance of death. <laughs> In other news, Elon Musk confessed to smoking weed. <laughs> Is that saying that he was high when he said that? Or? That's the implication. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Bachelor Mansion was nearly destroyed in the California wildfires. Surely this is punishment for choosing Colton as the next Bachelor. <laughs> Pringles recently came out with a line of Thanksgiving flavored chips. Like, no one asked. <laughs> the Nebraska Board of Tourism announced their new slogan, Nebraska. Honestly, it's not for everyone. <laughs> Other options included, Nebraska, it's just more campus. <laughs> Nebraska, if this state were a person, that person would be named Randy. <laughs> Nebraska, fine, we didn't want you anyway. <laughs> the midterm elections predicted a blue wave across the nation, but it fell short in the Senate. Speaking of no blue waves, flames in California have reached record heights. It's okay, I'm from L.A. <laughs> more and more teens are choosing vaping as an alternative to not vaping. <laughs> Unfortunately for these teens, it will soon be harder than ever to get nicotine from a flash drive. <laughs> Under pressure from the FDA, Juul announced they will stop selling most flavored pods in stores. I, this is like ridiculous. A reasonable public health measures to protect American youth. What's next? A ban on assault weapons? <laughs> Speaking of assault, wash you fraternities. <laughs> wash you's new Uber policy is the latest development in Chancellor Wright's initiative to increase fossil fuel emissions. <laughs> nice job, Mark. <laughs> the Performing Arts Department's production of Rocky Horror. Wow, what a show. It's not their fault, though, it's just written that way. <laughs> was caught in a scandal when he uploaded a 14-page letter to his mistress on Blackboard. It was handwritten and included a flowchart. I mean, the amount of work he put into that? And I can't even get a text back. <laughs> Have you seen the new art installation by the overpass? Now each of the swamp friends has about 10 stripper poles. <laughs> recently passed away at the age of 95. Here to comment on his legacy are his two least known creations, Pouch Boy and Pouch Girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pouch Boy. Hi, I'm Pouch Girl. We are so happy to be here today to talk about our new movie. Yes. Wait, I thought you guys were here to talk about Stan Lee. Da, well, Father would want us to move on. He didn't talk to us very much, but we love him with all our hearts. Wait, is this your guys' superpower? Da, that is our only superpower. Who's it out of our pouches? Like anything? Sort of. What do you want? A new car would be great. Hmm. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you meant like an actual car. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, anyway, tell us about this movie. Then, The Adventures of Pouch Boy and Pouch Girl is a hot, stopping drama set in the year 3005 on German soil. Oh, because you guys are German. No, we are not German. Why would you say that? <laughs> no reason. Anyway, about our, about our movie, it centers around a thief who steals objects from the villagers. But then we, Pouch Boy and Pouch Girl, follow in the footsteps of the thief and return what was stolen. That's the whole plot? Do you guys even catch the thief? No, he eludes our grasp. <laughs> it's more of a commentary on commercialism and the wealth of nations by Adam Smith. <laughs> well, can you remind us of his thesis? Oh, here's a copy of the book. Right here. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, when does the movie come out? Oh, it is not yet written, so we don't know. <laughs> That's why we are here. We are here to ask for funding. It should cost about $81 million. <laughs> Money, please. No, no, no. Okay, get away from them. 